This guy caught my attention. I was eager to interview these Scots, but I was too shy. But then I am pleased I got the chance to listen to him during Charlie Parker's interview. I have great interest in history and how I love to hear his story. Charlie got his audio and I got nice video to share with you. He is one of the great Scottish I have ever met in Scotland. His name is John Burley. That you just led the cheers just then. I did, and I did. You look a bit of a character, I'd love to just get a few words about why you're here. Go for it. Why yeah. am I here? Well, introduce yourself first of all. No, just, okay, so, so you, I'll give you this so you can go to coffee, right? So you know, that's right. Perfect. So I'll take a Yeah, take a picture. Thank you. you. Are you Neil Connery? Sean Connery. Are you Neil, Neil Connery? <laughs> no. <laughs> Do you know John, you're this bit in John Burley, let me do right. this. Yep. yep. Okay. I'm here because this is a regal occasion for a regal lady. And this is the Royal Mile. Right? Her, Her Majesty the Queen, right? Her oh, kindness God. and beauty, which is from the song Sunshine and Leith, right? There's a verse, her sign sunshine her um, kindness and beauty um, drove away my tears. Um, I was full of uh, sorrow and heartache, but now I'm rejoicing because Her Majesty was, she was called Her Majesty all these years. Now she is somewhere else and she is saying Your Majesty to the King of Kings and Lord of Lords. She's gone home to be with her maker and Her Majesty, Her Majesty was Jesus. King of Kings and Lord of Lords, and she's gone home to be with him. And the reason I know that is for the wisdom that she had. She was a lady that wore her faith on her badge, right? She wore it on her elbow. She, the Queen, did not hide her faith. You could tell that with her, the Christmas message every year. She mentioned Jesus every year. She was a woman of prayer. And that, that Gordon Brown, he said um, yesterday on the Times, the Times newspaper, he said that she knew more than him when he went to the briefings. There was some time there was a coup in this part or in this part. He didn't know about it. She actually knew it. And then she asked him, who he was the Chancellor, and she said, why is the country broke? What's happening? And he didn't have an answer. But she was in the know more than he was. The other thing about the, Her Majesty was, she was not only an example as a person, but she was an example for the country, for the Commonwealth, and for the world. Everybody respected her because of who she was. You know something? She get wisdom. You know where you get wisdom? You don't get it from her. It's divine, it comes from above. She get wisdom from above. She's a very wise person. And that's why she governed fully for these 96 years. She, and you know, it's a wonderful providential thing for her to die at home at home. But you know, she, she had that sense of duty that she wanted to wait until she get Boris and Liz Trust out of the way, then she could die at peace. She had one final duty to do. And once it was over, she says, I can go home now. She had fulfilled her final duty. So you know, it's okay. Here, here now, can I go on to the next thing? Yeah, yeah. perfect. Oh. Right. Do you know what this is? It's a map of the UK. It's a map of the United Kingdom. Now, what is it? Now, I'm going to show you. Right? This is a map. It's called a wise move. Wales, Ireland, Scotland, England. Mm. Thy kingdom come. Thy united kingdom, British Isles, come. That's my open prayer. But, you know, we hear of this thing about, um, what do you call it, um, protocol, backstop, Scottish independence. If you look at the British Isles, what do we see? This is a map of the 1900s. Wouldn't it be great if we all got together again? You know, instead of being part of Europe, if the British Isles we could be a, a nation again, the British Isles, a United Kingdom. And I hope Charles fulfills that legacy that the Queen did. She, kept, she was the glue that kept us together. Charles has got to go one better, go to Southern Ireland and say, look, get united with the North, 
let's get it sorted and let's become the British Isles again. Do you think the Queen's death helps on that issue? Bring Absolutely. The well, it's doing it right now. The people are here, you know, people think that it's got that sort of in it. No, no. The common person, right? When I say common, I mean common sense person thinks, wait a minute. We fought through two world wars. I've just been in Jersey. Jersey was occupied. It was occupied by the Germans. They put bombardments all the way around it. That could have happened in the UK. But you know what? We had the Battle of Britain in 1939. That wasn't just to stop them coming to England. That was to stop them coming to Scotland. So that battle that took place there, the people, these pilots are representing people for Scotland. They were defending the Scots as well. And we've got to respect that. We've got to respect every monument we see up and down the country where the people fell in the First World War and the Second World War. They did it for the United Kingdom. Right? And in the First World War, they did it for Southern Ireland too. Okay? Right. Well, could you tell me a bit about yourself and your personal connection to the Queen? Why are you, pers so, why are you so passionate about that, being here today and leading yeah. the crowds? Well, um, I'm very passionate about the Constitution. I want the, con the Constitution to remain. But I also want people to realise that this monarchy is special. That's why people want to come to the United Kingdom. We have something special. We're in danger of losing it because of all these factions. But I hope the United Kingdom wakes up and realise what we have in common. There's more that unites us than divides us. And those people who want division, those people who want to say boo, and there'll be some here today wanting to shout boo. You know, I know people that will sort them out. I know one person that will sort them out. He will <laughs> sort them out. And he will. What's your, what's your role been today then? So you've led, led some cheers. Are you, are you rallying the troops? I think I'm rallying the troops. You know, sunshine on me. You know, you know that my heart was broken. Sorrow, full of sorrow. You know the words? I don't know. Uh, oh, I'm going to show you the words just for a second. Can I get your name? John, John Burley. Right, let me, let me just read the words to you. Right? How old are you, John? I am, oh, sorry. I am uh, 69. Oh, and where have you come from? I've come from uh, Greenock on the west coast. Oh, right, west coast of Scotland. Well, let me just show you this, right? Let me just, so you know this, right? Right. Then as my heart was broken, sorrow, sorrow, my heart was broken. You saw it, you claimed it, you touched it, you saved it. My tears are drying. Thank you, I want to say thank you to the Queen. Thank you, thank you. My tears are drying. Your beauty and kindness made my tears clear, my blindness. While I'm, I'm worth a room on this earth, I will be with you. While the chief, that's King Charles, Put sunshine on Lee. I'll thank him for his work, for your birth, for my birth. There you go. Isn't that wonderful? That is, yes. Yeah. Your beauty and kindness. Yeah. Your beauty and kindness made my tears. You quote that, right? Yeah, I see. Have a look at that. Now listen, and believe it or not, I got the Times yesterday and the day before. Yeah. I haven't managed to read it yet. Oh, right. I, I get the Times. You see my byline. What's your name? It's Charlie Parker. Charlie Parker, yeah, yeah, okay, yeah. Char Charlie, you get in touch with me because I've got more to Absolutely tell you. Absolutely, do. Yeah, yeah. Um, Charlie. Well, tell, can you just describe what you're wearing as well? I'm wearing every, every, every piece. Go for it. You want every it's piece? Traditional Highland Highland dress, right? But, but what this is a t this is a traditional Highland. I'm only going to show you. Do you know what's under my coat? Have you already shown me the map? So what else is there? <laughs> she mustn't see. She mustn't see it. Right. Don't don't do this. Right. Just oh, don't. How you do? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go on, I'm you a bit like scarred, it? but yeah, yeah. Right, you like that, isn't that? That's good. It's That's a, a good. class. Because, right? yeah, yeah, you know, I am a Scot. You know, they think Scotland's, you've got your that flag. No, no. It's the United Kingdom. The, the Scottish flag is in the United the Union Jack. And you're some. We used to call ourselves Great Britain. We used to be great. But wouldn't it be great if we got back together again? Can you imagine that? We hear the squabble happening here. And it's affecting Brexit, it's affecting everything. And I'm looking, they're all looking at the southeast. They should be looking to the southwest. Say to Ireland, leave Britain, leave, leave um, uh, the EU, leave the EU, get back to the kingdom. And we'll get it all get it sorted. Now, I'm not wanting colonialism or imperialism. I want the four nations to 
get together again. We've all got our own individual. I'm individual. I'm Scots, right? I'm more Scots and more than there. But I'm also part of the United Kingdom. And I'm all for the monarchy. I love it. Um, what the Queen stands for in Balmoral, Hollywood, what she's done in Wales, what she used to do in Ireland, and what she's done in Buckingham Palace. I was there at the Buckingham Wedding. I, I was down there. I was, can I show you something? You won't believe this. Go on, since it's you. <laughs> you won't believe this, mate. Yeah. Do you know what happened when we were down there? Come on. Have you ever met her personally? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Is this what you're about to show? She was waving at me. Put this back in.